Welcome everybody. This already looks so fun. So I'm just going to introduce the talk. So the today's topic is wrangling cats, how we coordinate red team testing and our please welcome our speaker Jennifer Traban. Well, welcome everyone. So as you see, this is like one of the best commercials that was in Super, uh, Super Bowl like history. This is from EDS like back in the day. So Super Bowl 34, Cat Herders by EDS. <laughs> All right. So if you haven't done so already, uh, please pick up a pair of cat ears so you can listen in and participate. Okay. So Wrangling Cats, how we coordinate red team testing. I use the word we because all of us can wrangle cats. So disclaimer, the views of this presentation are mine and not of my employer. So just keep that in mind. My biogra biography, I've been in technology for about 28 years. I've been a project manager for 18 of those. I've worked for Fortune 500 companies uh, in technology, telecommunications, financial in in industries. Currently, for the past four years, I've been on a red team providing administration and coordination for, well, for a red team, for a financial institution. The goals of this presentation, or during the presentation, you will learn how to use JIRA to enhance the organization of assessments and connect with business partners, collect key performance indicators, and execute an end-to-end -end process. Before we proceed any further, we must name the star of the show. Now, she was up here. She's right over there. She's kind of migrated over there. She's hiding because she sees the carrier. So we must name her. So earlier today, in the middle ground, you might have seen this box here for some suggestions of names. I received like 130 suggestions. Now, Army trained, I don't know if they're in the room, they were definitely in it to win it because they submitted 97 of them. <laughs> so, you know, they really wanted to win. Yeah. Um, so the two that I chose out of the 130 that were submitted were Gritty Kitty, she finds your shitty. <laughs> and I don't know if uh, Tom, I don't know if it's jo June or Jun, if, if that person's here, okay. And then um, Army Trained submitted, well, like I said, they submitted 97, but one of the ones that spoke to me was Katniss Everclean. So is Army Trained here? Nope, okay, well. All right, so um, those are the two that won the box round, but I also want to open up to the floor. Is there anyone else here that has a suggestion, if you want to hold that up, suggestion to name the, sh the star. Any, have, anyone have any suggestions? Anybody? Princess. Princess? Okay, you got Princess? I have a cat exactly like this. It's, she, her name is Bella. Bella? Okay, Princess and Bella. Sprinkles. Spring. Did you submit one as well? I think I saw Sprinkles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what, what was that? <sighs> That's a lot. <laughs> That's a long name. So Princess, Bella, Spark, so you said sprinkles? Sprinkles. So I was like sparkles. And then, okay. All right. Anyone have any, so anyone uh, want to vote for the names that we called out here? You got Princess, Bella, you got two for Bella. Sprinkles. Okay, sprinkles. And then advanced pumpkin. I don't know. <laughs> okay, looks like sprinkles won. So sp sprinkles is the winner. You get to upgrade your cat ears to a LED one. Huh? Do I have to trade this one? Yeah? No, that's fine. <laughs> Yay, Sprinkles. Okay. So now Sprinkles, now the star has a name, Sprinkles. All right, here we go. All right. So now that the star is named, she's going to want to visit everyone. So here she comes. She's going to come around and visit. Be nice to Sprinkles, and she'll be nice to you. <laughs> All right. So now in true Las Vegas fashion, 
Everyone have their cat ears on? Let's get ready to wrangle! All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, where are we at now? All right, did I have that up the whole time? Okay, I did. <clears throat> I keep going back and forth, sorry. Was that up before? Yep. That was up before, okay. All right. So cybersecurity testing can be challenging can be a challenging endeavor, introducing an additional layer of complexity. To ease this complexity, a dedicated resource can use JIRA to organize red team activities. This will allow researchers to then focus on their research as well as their testing. Some of the activities this dedicated resource can take on are um, initial onboarding of the request, prioritization, scoping, resource allocation, training, account provisioning, and removing obstacles. This will result in areas of improvement or key performance indicators being employed through reporting from fields in JIRA. Some of these are efficiency by reducing assessment timelines, speed by increasing the number of assessments being performed, communication by delivering findings to the customer, Transparency by providing detailed findings and recommendations for remediation. Customer satisfaction by giving a customer a, sorry, a voice during the entire process. Mm -hmm. All right. My thing is not, there it is, okay. The end-to-end pro end -end process developed was for red teams to assess new technology that lines of business want to deploy, as well as internal customer-driven requests and individual research interests. Requests are submitted through a customer portal or internally, and then prioritized, scoped, prerequisites are completed, testing occurs, and then findings are reported and debriefed with the teams responsible for remediation. Kanban boards and JIRA were then used to provide a visual aid to show the progress of the red team activity. So now let's see what that looks like in the real world by showing what feature story activity and test issues in JIRA <laughs> look like. So since I was not able to present current production issues for my employer, I created my own. So now we're gonna embark on a visit to the veterinarian. You will see three ways a Kanban board was, can be used to show JIRA issues within the 2023 veterinarian visit. The first one is a full board with one created quick filter, so that shows the issues only assigned to that person from the filter. The second one, which is down here, um, it doesn't have any quick filters created. It's just the only person that's logged in will be able to see their issues. And then the last one has, a, has about 10 quick filters actually done for each person's name so when you click on each one of them, you'll be able to see their actual issues that they have for organizational purposes. Okay, and now we're gonna dig a little bit deeper into the, what the actual issues look like. So the first one is a feature. So you can kind of think of a feature as kind of like a program, the overall arching um, effort that's being done. So for this example, we're going to take the cat to the vet. So it's 2023 veterinary visit. Now we'll say in technical terms, we could say this was maybe like a hardware feature. So just hardware in general, if you want to like be similar. So, and then the next one, which is, uh, so it goes feature and then underneath it is story. So it's, uh, the story is a child of the feature. So in this instance of the vet visit, cat wrangling is the story. Now in the hardware feature, we could say ATM. I'm gonna pick ATM, <laughs> so ATM. And then 
underneath the story, we have individual activities that need to occur. So in this instance, reveal carrier. So here's one of them. Now in the hardware, or we'll say the ATM story, maybe one of the activities could be uh, research uh, ATM models. I'm just gonna kind of throw that out there. That could be one of the stories or one of the activities you could do. So another activity in the veterinarian visit is locate the cat. Well, you gotta locate the cat to take it to the vet. So that's another activity you gotta do. So you got the carrier, you got the cat. Now in the ATM story, another activity you could do is maybe like research known ATM vulnerabilities. That could be a good one you could do, maybe, maybe possibly. And then last but not least, and you see how all these, which you might have seen, all of these are actually linked together so you can find the ones that are actually um, part of that, we'll say, feature. So the last but not least is the actual test. Well, when we locate the cat, we've now, our test is, can we get that cat in that carrier? I don't know, sometimes it's very difficult to do, and then you gotta get it to the vet. So that's gonna be the test for this example. Now for uh, that, um, we'll say ATM story that I was mentioning beforehand, of course the test would be, you know, to test an ATM. So that would be how it would link to what you, what you guys probably already do, so. All right, so now that we know which issues are needed in JIRA, let's see them in action. For those that love the movie Say Anything, I don't know if we have any Say Anything fans. I don't know if we have any Europe fans, the band Europe, because we're about to do the final countdown. We're gonna do old school, Say Anything. <laughs> Can you hear it? <laughs> Look at that hand. Nod your head, sing along, get up and dance, whatever you want to do. There you go. <laughs> Clap. There you go. <laughs> All right. There we go. So, final countdown. Here we go. Number three was reveal carrier. So, there's number three. It's actually in the done column of the Kanban board, because it's been here the whole time. All right, two. So, well, there it is. We're good. Number two, locate the cat is now in progress. There it is. I see it. All right. We've located, we've located sprinkles, I should say. Sprinkles. All right. And there's my cat, Tyndall. <laughs> I've located her as well. Um, and one is now it's ready to do the test. So the test should be in progress now, which is carry insertion and expedition. And, um, expedition. We see one. All right, so we've located the cat. I should probably go get the cat, which I'm gonna go in front of my screen here and get the cat. So just bear with me for a minute. I thought she might still be traveling around. So here she is. I don't think she's seen the carrier yet. I don't know. She might get scared. So, oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. Maybe, maybe we should hide her. Maybe she, <laughs> maybe, uh, was this like sneak her in there maybe? <laughs> So, you know, it's like, she's not happy about it. So here she is. Okay, okay, okay. Woo, woo, okay, woo. So, you know, now we actually get to take her to the vet. So, on the way to the vet. Oh, light dropper. So she's going to the vet. And now that we have her in the carrier, she's on the way to the vet. She's actually gone to the vet. Our findings were that she's healthy, everything is good. She's all good. All the, the features done, the story's done, the two activities are finished, and the test is done. So all everything's closed out of that particular, we'll say, effort. And thank you.
If there's any questions, you know, please feel free to go ahead and ask me or hit me up on LinkedIn. But also, I want to thank everyone for this is my first time speaking. So thank you all for joining me on this adventure. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. And everyone have a great rest of Hacker Summer Camp.